Hey everyone, Jeff Salzenstein here, and I have a great video for you today. Stick around for the entire video because you're going to learn a ton about the serve today, and that's, I know a lot of you guys want to learn about the serve, and really, Pete Sampras, Roger Federer, if you haven't been following my blog already, they are the models. They have great serves, they have great technique, and I believe it's the easiest way to learn the serve. So, last week we talked about Javier his serve transformation. Very, very powerful stuff. Really exciting for me as a coach to see a kid work so hard to make these changes. And Javier's not the only one. I have countless other students that have shifted their serve. They've changed it. They've been open. And they've made the necessary changes with the drills that I give them week in and week out. And the last couple weeks, I've had the great pleasure to work with a former top WTA tour player, who's going to make a comeback. Her name is Vasilisa Bardina, and she was 48 in the world in 2007. She played Kim Clijsters at the Australian Open first round in 2007, and the last couple of years she's had a ton of injuries and a bunch of setbacks, but she's ready to come back, and she's hungry, and she's eager, and we met a few weeks, weeks ago, and I took a look at her serve, and that was the first thing I told her. I said, listen, you got to 48 in the world with a deficient serve. Yeah, you're serving between 110 and 120 miles an hour, but as you said, you, you've got pain. This is what she told me. She's had pain in her shoulder the last eight years, and one of the reasons we believe that's happened is because her elbow is really low on her serve. She uses a pinpoint stance. She has a great shoulder turn, but that elbow is just too darn low. And it's just amazing to see that a player at that level could still have that technical flaw in her serve and she's willing to change it which is remarkable because she's such a great player she doesn't need to change it but she really wants to maximize her serve in her game and she has big dreams and goals so we went to work and she got it within three days I mean actually less than three days that elbow was up right away she's got the coordination and the athleticism to make the necessary changes I gave her a couple of drills including the continuous serve drill that I use just about every day and a couple of the uh, other positions that I have her hold to understand what it's like to get in the trophy position. She really can feel her elbow now. At first, she couldn't feel that elbow dropping or if it was staying up, she couldn't tell the difference, and that's normal, but now she can. And through some hard work the last week or so, she's made quite a transformation. Now, for some of you out there who say, oh, I can't do this because she's a pro, well, remember, go back to the last video Look at Javier, a complete beginner on the serve. Wrong grip, wrong coordination, wrong everything. He made the change. So you can do it if you're committed and you're open and you're willing to learn. And I want to help you. So come find me. Shoot me an email. I'll do my best to help you out because we're having tremendous success here out in, out here in Denver, Colorado with a lot of different players with their serves. So we'd love to hear from you. But again, Back to Vasilisa. She is an incredible talent. I believe she's going to have one of the best serves in the world because she's modeling it after the top male pros. And I think that's one thing that's missing. Actually, I know it's missing on the women's tour because I watch a lot of women serve and I just shake my head and I say, wow, they could play a lot better if they could develop their serve and make it look like the best servers on the men's side. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. I, I enjoy working with all my students on the court because I see tremendous gains on a daily basis. I'd love to get your feedback. Go out and try some of these drills that you're seeing and some of these concept and s concepts and see if you can model the best pros. It doesn't matter what your level is, you can do this. So leave us a comment at the blog. I'd love to hear from you and uh, we'll talk soon. See you at the next video.